in the last video we took a look at how to update individual records onto our database and I've only got two records that I've been working with here on my table and what we're going to do on this one is actually learn how to delete a record uh, an individual record from a list of the records that we actually can display onto our web page and so we'll make some slight modifications to the code we had on the previous lesson so if you've been following along then you've got most of this code already if you have not been following along just to let you know I will be pasting the code here when it comes to lesson 40 I'll uh, put it as a download here on my web page on lesson 40 so that you can actually click on it and download the text itself and, and make modifications if you can't get your code to be working itself so let's go ahead and make some changes to this one now so we want to go ahead and copy all the code I had from the last video and I'm going to go ahead now and open up a new file and paste it in there for us to work with and save the file as well I'm going to go ahead and save it as my data php and the modifications that I want to make to this particular table are going to allow us to put into it a delete button and so what I can do is copy the code that I had from the update button on the form that gets displayed for every record I'm going to go ahead and copy that and then underneath that I'm going to go ahead and paste it and the changes that I want to make instead of the name being update I'm going to go ahead and change the name to delete and then the value, I'm going to go ahead and change the value to delete. And now I noticed the one thing here, and um, I didn't have in my last video, I'm not sure what I did with the uh, closing table row, but I had the opening table row here on line 30, and I do not have a closing table row at the end of my row, so I'm going to go ahead and echo in just for aesthetics. Uh, it'll make the buttons, I think, change a little bit in the way that they appear um, for each one of the rows. A closing TR tag. There we go and I've got that in there now so it's going to end that table row and start another row uh, one, once the code repeats in, its, um, in the while loop that I have here. So I've got the row, I've got my delete button added in here so now that the delete button shows up let's go ahead and make some code run in the event that the delete button actually runs itself. So I'm going to come up here to the top and I had this is set um, under this if statement I had the is set function running which was going to allow us if the update button ran now we've got the option for it to run here in the delete. Before I do that, let me make one more change. I just saw that here. And that is the in my form, my action, I have my data three running. Let's go ahead and change that to my data four. That's the current page that I'm working with right now. So that's where my script is going to be running. So I need to make that change as well. So let me go back up here now. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy this block of code that I have for the, for the is set. I'm going to go ahead and paste it down below. And we're going to use it for, instead of it checking for the update now, I'm going to go ahead and make that one check for the, the delete. And I spell delete under the name of that button as all lowercase. And so I'm going to keep that one as lowercase. The query that I have here, I'm going to go ahead and do a new query. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And let's scroll back over here in my text. There we go. So let's go ahead and call this one, instead of update query, I'm going to call it delete query. And we're going to go ahead and set that equal to, now the command that I want to have for the delete query is, is quite simple, it's just the word delete. So I'll go ahead and put in delete, and we need to tell it from, from which table. So I'm going to say delete from, my table's name is lectures, and then we're going to go ahead and say where. Now this is why it was important for us to have that hidden field like we did in the last video is because if we somehow were just typing somewhere a little bit different and we change that value it can always use the hidden value itself and so actually the end of this statement where we have the word where is going to be identical to what we saw on the previous one so I can actually just copy that whole last bit of code there where topic which was going to be set as my primary key if you remember from the last video that's the field that's going to be unique. Every record will have a unique one of these topics where it equals the hidden value that I had here from the last video as well. So that's going to be my code that I want to execute whenever I hit the delete button. It's going to check to see if the delete button's been pressed. If it has, it's going to run this query. One last thing I need to do is instead of my SQL query update being run here, we are going to make it run the delete one that we just created. So let's go ahead and do delete. There we go. And now everything has been set now it's ready for us to try. So I'm going to go ahead and save my page and it, like I said before if you do not have the code check on lesson number 40 because I'll have the updated code up through lesson 40 on that particular uh, lesson itself on my website lecturesnippets.com if you want to download that if you're having any kind of errors with the code that we have here. So let's go ahead now and check the code 
and I'm going to go ahead into my index and refresh that. There we go. My data four is the page that we just created. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And you can see that I've got the two records we've been working with. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this record. I'm going to click delete. And you'll see that it actually deleted that record from my database. And if I were to go to my database itself and refresh it, you'll see that I will only have one record in there. So we've actually eliminated that record we just had. So now I'm getting pretty slim picking here on the records that I've got to work with. So what I'll do is, and I've done it in a different video, I've created an input form for us to add data to my database. And so now what I'll do in the next lesson is actually incorporate it here into this code so that I can do all of the functions, update, delete, and insert uh, new data into my database all from one page. So that'll be in the next video.